Welcome back. What a moving luncheon honoring two American heroes. We hope you enjoyed yourself, and we thank Boeing again for co-sponsoring our Hill Award Luncheon. The leadership of Neil Armstrong and Sally Ride would be reflected in the energy and inspiration of our next panel. Earlier this week, the Space Generation Advisory Council conducted their second annual fusion forum. This forum for young space professionals proceeded to start the National Space Symposium. The Space Foundation is very pleased to host the fusion forum and to also conduct a number of activities throughout the week as part of the, of the new generation initiatives. To hear just a little bit about the Fusion Forum, we are pleased to welcome to the stage Ms. Andre Jaime Albalat, the Executive Director of the SGAC, and Mr. Stephen Ringler, the Fusion Forum Manager. Thanks, thanks Captain Tandler for the, for the introduction. Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, let me congratulate the Space Foundation for another great National Space Symposium, and also thank them uh, to give the Space Generation Advisory Council the opportunity to introduce to all of you uh, the, the event uh, that Captain Chandler just mentioned, the Space Generation Fusion Forum. My name is Andrea Jaime, and I am the Executive Director of the Space Generation Advisory Council. For those who are not familiar with uh, SGC, with this organization, uh, we're a non-profit organization that came out of the United Nations in 1999 to represent young professionals and students in the space sector. Now, 14 years later, we, re we represent more than 4,000 members from more than 100 countries from all, of, uh, from all around the world. We like to call ourselves the next generation of space leaders. SGAC gives scholarships, scholarships uh, work on different projects, has a permanent observer status at the United Nations Committee of Peaceful Uses of, for Outer Space, and participates in many, many other activities. We also have two main annual events, the Space Generation Congress, which is held in conjunction with the International Astronautical Congress, and the one that we are introducing to all of you today, which is obviously held in conjunction with the National Space Symposium. So we just held the second edition of the Fusion Forum, Space Generation Fusion Forum. Uh, the, it was actually last weekend, and we bring uh, 50 delegates from 16 different countries, 60% male, 40% female, not bad. The second edition of the Space Generation Fusion Forum gathered, as I said, top 50 young adults. The event this year was driven by, by four uh, key space topics. The delegates were addressed by high-level speakers, like, um, well, that they took the time to come to speak, to just uh, mingle with us, and give this introduction to these four speakers. For example, as an example, we had uh, Professor Warner, Leroy Chao, Marcy Rangelo, and many others. But what really, really makes uh, the Fusion Forum a unique event is that the delegates uh, were part of interactive panels moderated by international space sector leaders. So in this case, it's us, the young professionals, who bring up on the stage new perspectives and very dynamic discussions. The event also promoted the international networking among all delegates, but also between the delegates and the special guests and speakers. We actually have put a brief video to show to all of you uh, just two minutes of uh, what the event was about. First of all, I want to, to just say something. SGAC works on a volunteer basis, so we are all volunteers, as I said, from all around the world. And in fact, the video that you are going to see now uh, was just prepared by Tu Vu, our member from Vietnam. So well, I hope you, you really enjoy. So video, please.
too. So now I would like to turn it over to Steve uh, Ringler, manager of the Fusion Forum this year, uh, who's going to provide a brief summary of the results of the event. So please, Steve. Thank you, Andrea. So have you ever wondered if you're going to be able to retire? Well, I've got good news for you today. The bottom line results of the Space Generation Fusion Forum is that you, the space leaders of today, can indeed retire. Now, I'm not talking about 401ks. I'm not talking about beachfront retirement homes. I'm talking about retiring with competence. Confidence that you can, confidence that you will be leaving the space industry in good and capable hands. That you, the space industry leaders of today, who influence, mentor, and invest in the next generation future leaders are making a significant impact in the long-term sustainability of our space sector. So much of what is being discussed here on this main stage at National Space Symposium are the same things that we discussed at the Fusion Forum this past weekend. In particular, we focused on four key areas. The first, benefits and risks of regional space programs. We tackled questions such as, would more regional space programs benefit our industry and our global society and economics and economies? Number two, we looked at the topic of long-term sustainability of space. What is it that we need to invest in today to ensure our industry going forward in the future? Third, we looked at innovative space exploration strategies. How do we commercialize robotic and human space exploration? And fourth, we looked at operational data exchange and sharing of space assets. Are there more efficient, cost-effective ways to utilize our space assets? The Fusion Forum took a unique approach in debating and discussing these four topics. As Andrea mentioned, and as you've seen on the video, we had four panels comprised of next generation professionals and students, moderated by space industry leaders. Our moderators engaged not only the panels, but also the audience in an interactive and sometimes quite contentious discussion. Our delegates brought forth new, fresh, and innovative ideas to consider. One particularly interesting discussion that we had that was had by our panelists and our audience alike surrounded the lack of medical knowledge that we currently have in how humans fare in deep space. So given some of these particular concerns, the panel overall agreed that human space exploration should be pursued rationally, thoughtfully, and pragmatically. Now it's impossible for me in this amount of time to share with you all the highlights and all the results of the Fusion Forum but I do want to encourage you to do three things with the information that Andrea and myself, and the, as the video showed. Um, the first is, look for complete details of the Fusion Forum in our final report, which is due to be released sometime this summer. You can download that report from the Space Generation Advisory Council website. Second, before leaving NSS, pull aside one of the new geners and talk to us about the Fusion Forum. Ask us about it. Ask us about the new generation uh, leaders program put on by the National Space Symposium. And if you have trouble recognizing us, I've got two suggestions. The first is this little pin here that Andrew and I are both sporting. Good chance that that's a young professional because our club is for 35 and under. The second, if you don't see a pin, look for things like soul patches or sideburns. I mean, who knows? Maybe we played drums in a rock band on the side. I mean, really, when we colonize Mars, there's going to be rock and roll, right? <laughs> Third, when you get back to work in the coming weeks, provide the opportunity for one young professional to go to one, one high-level meeting to be a fly on the wall that they would normally not be invited to. Trust me, not only will they be grateful for the opportunity and will learn a lot, You'll also get to put it in your performance review as mentoring, so it's win-win for, for both sides. So I wanted to say thank you to the Space Generation Advisory Council, in particular Andrea Jaime, for giving me this opportunity to lead such a one-of-a-kind young professional conference. I want to thank our Space Generation sponsors for making the event possible, as you saw them listed in the video a moment ago. 
And a very special thank you to the Space Foundation uh, for hosting our Fusion Forum for a second, and I hope for a third year in a row. We could not do this without the awesome uh, team that the Space Foundation uh, we worked with who clearly believes in the next generation. So I wanna say a special thanks, uh, give them a special round of applause for all their hard work. Before we get off the stage, we'd like to quickly introduce a few of the all-stars from our Space Generation Fusion Forum event. A main goal of the Space Generation Fusion Forum is to provide firsthand international perspectives at the US event. Space Generation Advisory Council is enabling this through its global grant program. This year we awarded six scholarships competed amongst a large pool of outstanding applicants for a fully paid trip to the Fusion Forum as well as National Space Symposium. And the winners of the global grant program each participated in one of the four panels. So we'd like to recognize the outstanding six participants and ask them to join us here on the stage. Thank you. So I would like to call Yusuke Muraki from Japan, Alana Krolikovsky from Canada, Pascal Renten from Germany, Jogita Chatterjee from India, Rose Finley from United Kingdom, and Tubu from Vietnam. So here you see the future international space leaders. Okay, like last year. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Now is the heads of a space agency. <laughs> uh, thank you, and congratulations, Andrea and Stephen, and all of the winners. Let's have another round of applause for all of our. Fusion Forum participants. And Andrea, I can't guarantee a third Fusion Forum. 